Hi everyone, it's me, Thomas Lockwood, doing YouTube video number three. This week we're going to be looking at green. Um, I had some issues actually starting off this video because, well firstly I have my sister at the background, she's on my second computer. Eleven, I've taught her the basics of magic, but she said she wouldn't disturb me as much as she would normally. Uh, second thing is, normally green only runs to mono green commanders, and they were really not fun. So I had to go scouring, finding other people with other commanders, and seeing what decks they've made with the green generals they had. And I barely found three. I hope you enjoy. First one we'll be looking at today is Silverus Rogue Elemental. Now, he is a five toughness dork. With regenerate, so toughness wasn't an issue with him, but eight power trampling. This dude is a free turn clock on one person. You give him any pump spell, which the deck had plenty of, and no matter what, poof, he'd be stronger. You wouldn't be able to deal with him. The deck mainly played pump spells and tutor effects and recursion effects which was fair enough and a lot of ramp but hey he's only an 8-5 trample for 6 mana green has potential there I guess next one I'll be looking at is Revelos the Ancient now it's a 6 mana for 4-7 that's not too bad it's like the other dork 6 mana 8-5 two extra increases but this guy has a kicker cost now people for don't know the kicker it's an additional it could be as an additional cost to the spell now you can on this case the spell kicker cost is x x can be whatever you want x can even be zero now he pumps all sapling creatures and all other tree folks by plus one plus one when he enters the battlefield if he was kickered it doesn't matter how much your kicker cost was, but in a sense it would. But some cards doesn't matter about it. You put X, which is the X is the kicker cost, saplings onto the battlefield that are one ones. Now that is awesome. They enter the battlefield as two twos. You can't beat that. The card I saw getting used with these is one I can't name, and I'm trying to get better with these, so I'm not going to bother saying it. But this card says, Creatures with no abilities get plus two, plus two. Yours or your opponent's. And, well, you look at it and you think, Oh, my 4-4 four, four saplings. Sure, I chump block with this 1-1 one, one sapling. Then I saw something else get played with it. Predatory focus. Now, this is like uber trample if your creature becomes blocked by this 0-4 and you are attacking with this 4-4 you can say no I don't want to deal 4 damage to your wall I don't want to deal 1 damage to your 1-1 one, one. I want to deal all the damage to you still and that's what pretty much this card says just to note though it will still get dealt damage damage you're dealing is dealt to them damage they are dealing is still to your creature. So unless the damage is prevented in some way, then yeah. The last one I saw it getting used with is... Bry! What, Meg? Before you chat about it, this video is to show the fun in EDH. Right. Yeah, but... Well, I have played some games of EDH, and I want to say doubling season is not fun. Yeah, but... But nothing is not fun. End of. Okay, Megan, you made your point. Can you now please leave? I don't want your disturbance anymore. Okay, but I'm listening for them two words. She is right, though. Doubling season isn't fun. So, you can add it. But you won't get my sympathy if I crows and grip it. Last one I'll be looking at is Sachi. Sachi is an uncommon legendary creature. There are some out there. In fact, you Google it and you'll come up with several. I can't remember the number. But this is the one I chose because I saw this one being played. And it made me laugh because it was to make infinite mana. 
Now, with a first ability, that won't happen. That will just make all your creatures stronger in toughness. But a second ability allows all your shamans, counting herself, to make double green when tapped. Now, this was used with Mana Reflection, an enchantment that allows you to, for any permanent, when it's ever tapped for mana, you make twice as much of that matter. So, instead of tapping for two green mana, you make four green mana. Fair enough. That isn't too bad. But then when you get to the equipment that was equipped to his legendary creature, which is Umbran Mantle. Sorry, if I said it wrong, uh, I tried my best. It is a free mana equipment that is equipped for zero. Each creature could have this at sorcery speed, which isn't which isn't brilliant, but it's still quite good because the ability that you do with it is it has gives the equipped creature the ability to untap for free mana and give itself plus two plus two, meaning that four mana you just made, you use three of that mana to untap it. You've got one green mana remaining, and your creature just got buff. Just got a mini rampant growth. You do that several thousand times, your general is going to be unlocked. Your general is going to be massive. And if you give it trample, then they're dead. There's no ifs. There's no buts. They need instant removal right then, right now, or they're doomed. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Um, this this is my third one. Uh, next week will be black because why not? We're going in a random order. And as anyone notices, it actually isn't really random at all. But hey, I like saying random. And I hope everyone has a nice day.